Okay guys, so here we go, a warm up. Monday 22nd of June, kettlebell session number 23, repeat, repeat, okay? Repetitive rounds over a couple of exercises for each, uh, each round or each uh, cycle. Okay, so let's start the one then. Rolling the shoulders forward, nice big circles. Good, that's it. Make those circles big, all the way up with the shrug, all the way around. Good, and let's go backwards then. Back we go, nice and high. Good, forward and back then, open up the chest, open up the back, cross the arms over, right high then right low. Push those elbows right back, open up the chest. And then push them all the way forward to open up the back. Good, okay, feet shoulder with the part now. Nice big circles on the hips, around we go. Somebody just coming in. Good morning all, good morning. Morning Holly, morning Tim, morning Catherine, morning Kathy, morning Darlene, all those people I can see in there. Good, keep it going there, and then the other way, around we go. Did I miss anybody? I hope not. Good, and rotate the arms forward. Whoops. Backwards, back we go now, nice big circles again. Get the arms brushing alongside the head if you can. Let's open those shoulders right up. Good, okay, let's get the hip rotation then. Nice solid platform, feet about hip width, shoulder width apart, and around we go with these circles. Nice big hip circles. We'll be doing a good bit of hip work this morning, so get them warmed up. Activate the glutes as we come around the front. Squeeze the glutes as we come across the front part. Good, and let's go the other way. Around we go then. Good, and into squats now. So let's sit right back. Let's hinge those hips. Let's really sit the hips back now. And at the top, activate the glutes, push the hips forward, push the hips forward, and bring the shoulder blades back. Let's really exaggerate the movement through this warm up. Good. Two more then on the squats. There's one. Good. And there's two. Okay, nice straight legs now. Straight legs. And let's reach for the ground. Down we go. Get a touch on the ground. Long pause. And then up we come. Reach up for the sky. Lean back slightly. Reach up nice and high. Down again. And then reach up. Up and back. Good. And down we go again. Good job. Keep those going there. Let's do a few more. Good. Two more. Good. Okay. Nice wide stance now. Now let's go side to side. On this one, let's keep the foot flat at the moment and toes pointing forward. Let's push the hips back. Good, so the next one's now, let's rotate slightly, Cossack squat style and toes go up this way. So we come down, okay, sit the hips back, and get that stretch down through the hamstring and sit the hips right back, toes to the sky. Good, just a couple more there. 
Good work. Then up we come. Okay, let's jog on the spot. And punch out to the front. Good. And punch up to the sky. That's it. Good job. Punch out to the front again. And down to the ground. Good. Flip the heels up to the bum now. Good. And let's kick the toes up to the front. Almost there for the warm up, guys. Good work. Let's get that heart rate up a little bit. And to jacks. Good, and then up to the front with the hands. Good, last couple. One, two, and relax there. Good job. A warm up done. Everybody's suitably warmed up. Okay guys, if you haven't already, if you've got to watch this recording your workout, get your watch set now, give it a little tap and get it recording your heart rate and uh, your resting rate as we go in through. Okay, your work rate and your rest rate. Yeah, you don't need to flick it around, we're not doing any single hand stuff, so there's no kettlebell. Gonna be banging on the outside there, so you can leave the watch just where it is. Okay. So, like I said at the start, we've got two pairs of exercises, okay? We work one pair at a time. And we're gonna work for six rounds each. And it's repetitions of six, okay? So it's all the sixes. Two exercises, six each for six rounds, nice and steady and controlled. It's not a race, it's not one of those where we do as quick as we can to get maximum rest. Okay, it's nice and steady all the way through. We're working, remember, slow is strong, so we're building up strength and working nice and steady. All right, so the first pair exercises are, the first one is swing. So we swing for six, yeah? So remember with the swing how we set up Feet on each side of the kettlebell, we just come back with the foot, come back with the foot, and that's around about the distance we want the kettlebell to start at and our body or our feet to be away from, okay? So when we chop at the hips, chop and drop, we're about in the right position, so when we pick up that momentum, come straight into that first swing. That's it, okay, so we're gonna go for six swings. So we chop, drop, we pick up, and then we go for it. One, two, three, four, five and six good then the kettlebell goes back into that same position nice and strong remember on the swing we power through the legs we get a lock out at the knees we bounce into it drive your hips forward squeeze the bum okay driving that weight all the power is coming from those hips then we go for six goblet squats with a halo okay so we're going to pick up the kettlebell upside down yeah, we're gonna grab the handles this way and pick it up there, okay? So we goblet squat, we come back, we halo one way, we goblet squat, we come back up, we halo the other way, okay? There's two. And we'll do six of those all together, three, six squats, and there'll be three halos one way, three halos the other way, okay? Nice and controlled. And we're going to do six rounds of those all together. Yeah, comprende. Everyone good? So let's get ready for that. So remember, six swings, six goblet squats with the halo. Remember, we can't race the swings either. The higher we drive the weight, the longer each repetition takes. And that's what we want. We don't want to be just doing a nice short swing to get them over and done, done quickly. We want a full ring, so all the power, getting the weight as high as we can. Around about shoulder height at least. Back down and up, and we're going for six of those controlled. All right, so everyone ready? 
six swings, six goblet squats, and we're going for six rounds. Guys, keep a track of the count because sometimes I lose count. Okay? So, are we ready? I'm not turning the music up too loud so you can still hear me. So, ready then? Now we set up, foot in back, in each side, sit low, chop the hips, chop and drop those hips down. And then ready for the six swing. So hands on the kettlebell and off you go. One, two, three. Drive now. Four, five, and six. And kettlebell nice and strong back into position. Okay, the heavier you've got for the swings, the better. And then we're going to pick up the weight goblet squat style. Okay, oh, sorry, upside down, ready for the goblet squat into the halo. So we pick it up upside down, grab the handle, flip, and up we come into that position. So off we go. Up and around one way. One, down, up, around the other way. Leave that elbow, get the full range of movement. Two, down, up, around for three. Down, up, around for four. Down, up, around for five, down, up, around for six, good, then down we go, there's round one, round one, so ready for the swings, set up, we've been in that position, okay, ready to go, and let's go, one, Two, three, four, five, six, down, nice and strong. Good, everyone okay so far, I hope. Goblet squat, into the squat, and then the halo. Three each side, six total. Ready, pick up the weight. Hold it nice and strong now. You feet on biceps, squat, up, Around for one, squat up, around the other way for two, squat up, around for three, squat up, around for four, squat up, around for five, squat up, around for six, and then sit that way back down. Good. Round two then. Good job. Okie dokie. Karaoke. Let's go for round three. Okay. So sit. Hands on that handle, ready to go. Good. And we're off. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good, and release there, good job. Okay, let's pick up that kettlebell upside down, hands at the bottom, ready, grab the horns, and flip up, ready. Try not to let the weight lean on your chest, try and hold it out if you can. Ready, down, up, around for one, down, up, around for two, down, up, around for three, down, up, around for four, down, up, around for five, down, up, around for six, good, and down we go, there's round three, good, okay, ready for swings, halfway there, Good everywhere, okay. Let's get set up. Ready. Nice strong back now. Sit into it and off the door. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, and really strong. Good job. Okay. Let's pick up that weight upside down. For round 
four to complete this round four. Ready? You, morning. Rihanna, oh, good morning. Rihanna, my cousin's on. Good morning, from Scotland. Okay, up we come. And squat up, around for one. Squat up, around for two. Squat up, around for three. Squat up, around for four. Squat up, around for five. Nice big loops. Squat up, around for six. Good, good job. Two more to go, I think, if I'm talking right. Round five. Good job, guys. Repeat, repeat, remember. So let's get set up for round five. Chop the hips, let's sit down, grab that weight. Okay, ready? And up we go. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. There's the first part of round five. Good job. Okay. Let's go for that goblet squat then with a halo. With a halo. Ready? Pick up the weight. Upside down. Up we come. Keep it away from the chest. Down. Up. Around for one. Down. Up. Around for two. Down. Up. Around for three. Down. Up. Around for four. Down. Up. Around for five. Last one. Down. Up. Around for six. Good and drop. One more round. One more round, everyone. We're almost there. The halo is really good for shoulder mobility. You may have been able to feel it from the first set to the last set there, how much more you can reach, okay? You don't realize how much your shoulder joint speeds up and how limited you are until you actually try and push them. And this exercise is really getting them working in all those directions, okay? So ready, last set. And let's go. So sit into it, pick up the handle, or grab the handle, ready, and up we come, one, two, three, four, five, six, and down, nice and strong, good, good job, okay, let's pick up the kettlebell now, upside down, up we come, and squat up around for one squat up around for two squat up around for three squat up around for four two more squat up around for five squat up around there's our six for round six. Good. Awesome. So far, so good. Great job, everyone. How are we doing? Good. Okay. Overhead press and good morning. Okay, the good morning may not be that difficult if you've got to like the weight because we can usually do a good morning with quite a heavy weight. But the main the uh, safety point with the good morning is using the hip hinge, just like the swing, okay? The back posture and alignment stays the same. You just hinge the hips for the good morning, okay? So it's just there and back. Okay, we're not doing this and coming back up. That's not a good morning, that's a bow. A sloppy bow, that's... Okay, it's there and back up. That's your good morning. Out and back in. Yeah, so let's just demo them. Overhead press with both hands. So we pick up the weight. Again, we're going for six, six, and six. Six reps, six reps for six rounds. So pick up the weight, 
into that position, okay? We press, one, two, and we're slow. It's that speed, it's that slow, coming back down. Three, do six of those. Okay, then we grab the handle, just like we did earlier. Okay, that position. On the horns, we ping up above the head and go over. And then we rest it there, with our hands on the handle. We rest it between the shoulder blades, okay? And then all we do is good morning, whilst holding it in that position. We come down one, back up, two, back up, okay, and keep going, and then we pick up all around the head, back into that position, and back to the ground, okay, all good, remember the good morning, it may feel like you're not going down very far, but if you go to the limit of your hamstrings and the limit of your back, then you're going down far enough, any further, and you start going against your posture, okay? You start opposing those natural curves in the spine. So as soon as you go there, there's my limit. As soon as I try and drop further, there's my lumbar gone, okay? My lumbar's gone then from that nice arch, that nice strong curve, I've started to round it the other way, okay? And that's where the weakness happens, and that's where injuries occur, okay? The idea is to hold that posture. As long as we keep the alignment, then we're nice and strong. So there, there's the bum, keeping that posture and not doing this, okay, from the shoulders and dropping down. So I think we've got it, before I over explain it too much. Right. Overhead press for six. Ready guys. Right. Okay, so let's pick up the weight. Up into that position, okay, let's hold it there, and we're just going to press now, so push, slow lower, one, push, slow lower, two, push, slow lower, three, push, slow, four, push, slow, five, push, slow, six, rest in the chest, grab those handles in that position, up and over, Okay, up and over, and let's hold it there, just like that. Okay, get your stance, hold it in tight, and let's go for those good mornings. One, two, hips go back, hold the posture. Three, feel in the hamstrings. Four, five, And six, good job, okay. And then bring that weight back down to the ground. Sorry, just knock my glasses off. Close my glasses and I'll feel my pain. Okay, that's the first round, yeah. Overhead press, I'm gonna do this for a second. Overhead press for six. Good, so up we come. And let's push, one, two, Three, four, five, and six. Good. Okay. Weight up and over. And hold it nice and tight now. Hook your fingers to that handle. Hold it tight. Feet about shoulder width apart. Sit the hips right back and bring the shoulders forward at the same time. So down we go. One. Activate the glutes at the top. Two, three, four, five, and six. Good. And let's bring that weight back around. Good. And back to the ground. Good job. Everyone okay with those? If, if you're struggling with those, uh, good mornings, just go on, go for a light weight, okay? Or even, if you're still unsure, because I can't coach you via the camera, then do it without weight, just to get your, your feet, and even look in the mirror if you can, just to make sure your back looks somewhere around about where mine is. I can't actually see my form, but I, I hope it's okay. Right. 
Overhead press for six. So ready. Here we come. Push. Slow. One. Push. Slow. Two. Push. Slow. Three. Push. Slow. Four. Push. Slow. Five. Push. Slow. Six. Change the grip. Up and over. Okay, and give it a hook through the handle. Ready. Let's bring the head up now, bring the chin up, and off you go. One. Two. Don't go too far. Three. Four. Five. And six. Good. Bring that weight back around. Good job. Is that round three? Round three. Three to go. So let's go for that overhead press. Ready, pick up the weight. And then up we go for the push. Push, slow, one. Push, slow, two. Push, slow, three. Push, slow, four. Push, slow, five. Push, slow, six. Good, change that grip. Up and over the head, and watch you don't clog yourself in the forehead. Okay. Let's get those feet shoulders apart then, ready. Chin up nice and high, and off we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six, good, pick that weight up and over, good job. Great work guys, there's round number five. All about movement, all about range of movement, all about working to the full range and to your full potential, okay? If you've got heavy and more heavier, then go for it. Six reps, off you go, overhead press, so pick up that weight. Help me come. And push. Slow, one, push, slow, two, push, slow, three, push, slow, four, push, slow, five, one more, push, slow, there's our six, good, change the grip, up and over, watch them clog yourself in the head, okay, ready, Let's go for it then. Feet shoulders apart and down. And up we go. Activate the glutes at the top. Down. Chin up. Up to two. Down. Up to three. Down. Up for four. Extend those hamstrings. Down. Up for five. Hips back. Push the bum back. Down. Up for six. Good. Okay, we've got one more round to go. Yeah, one more round. There is a finisher, okay? There is a finisher. All right. Overhead press, last round, number six. So let's pick up that weight. Help we go. Up, slow for one. Push, slow for two. Push, slow for three. Push, slow for four. Push, slow for five, push, slow, for six. Let's change the grip, up and over. Good, grab a hold of that weight now, hook the fingers through, feet shoulders apart. Okay, and let's go for it then, down. Up for one, down, up for two, down, up for three, down, up for four, down, up for five, down, up for six, there we go, good, there's our six, great work guys, round number two done. Round number two done, everyone okay? So far, so good, all good? Right, let's get ready for a finisher, is it?
Okay, again, finisher, six rounds. Okay, I need my timer for this one. Every minute on the minute. You may have seen this abbreviation if you're a CrossFit or you're doing CrossFit. Imam, every minute on the minute, okay? We're going to be doing four thrusters. Okay, three plank thrusters, two push ups, and then one tuck jump, knees to chest, however you want to call it, or a jump if you can't get the knees right up nice and high, okay? Let me go through. I'll go through one complete, okay? I'll do the whole lot. So four thrusters, you're gonna pick up the weight in the goblet position, okay? Just like this. The thruster is the squat followed by overhead press. So we squat, there's one, squat, two, squat, three, squat, four, okay? Then we put the weight down, and it's a crusher, plank thruster, okay? So we hold the weight. If you've got a big enough kettlebell and you can get your hands on there and crush it, if your kettlebell is too small, then just go hands to the mat, okay? If you've got a nice big fat kettlebell, then get your hands on the body of the bell. Okay, plank thruster for three. One, two, three. Once you've done the three, the feet go back out. One hand on, push up one side. Change hands, push up the other side. Okay, come in and then Jump knees to chest, if you can. If not, do a jump and reach for the sky. Okay? And then for the rest of that minute, however long you've got left, is rest. So if you do them nice and quick without cheating, then you get a longer rest. You can go nice and steady, 40, 45 seconds, get a 15 second rest, and we go straight back in. We're doing six rounds of those, okay? So six minutes all together. I'll shout the exercises out as I'm going through, so don't worry if you can't remember them. We are starting with four thrusters. Yeah. Every minute, on the minute, for six rounds. Okay, nice and short for those six rounds, just to get into this kind of format. Alright, so, ready. Thruster for four to start. I haven't started the clock yet. Three. Two, one, off we go. So thrusters for four, off we go. Squat, press, squat, press, squat, press, squat, press. Crush your plank thruster. For three, back out. One push up each side. One, over, two, over. Come in, knees to chest. Okay, nice long rest now. If you finish there, four thrusters, three plank thrusters, two push ups, one each side with a hand raised, then one jump or one knee to chest. Okay, we've got 21 seconds, and then we're going to do that again. Yeah, good job. Four thrusters, three crush up plank thrusters, if you can get your hands on a nice big kettlebell. Seven seconds, four thrusters, squat with overhead press. Ready? Two, and off we go. Squat, press, squat, press, squat, press, squat, press. Crush a plank thruster. For, for three. Feet back up, one push up each side. Come in, knees to chest. Good. There's 35 seconds on the clock, if you're still going. We've got four more rounds to go. That's the halfway mark. Good work, guys. Great job. Four more rounds. Four thrusters, remember, to start with. In. 15 seconds. Let's get these in as quick as we can, okay? Through the minute. Get a longer rest. But don't cheat. Don't cut the exercises short. Let's go through the full range of motion. Three seconds. Don't pick up the weight until we start. Off we go. Squat, press, one. Four thrusters. Good. Three plank thrusters. One push up each side. Three. 
Knees to chest. Good. Okay. Good guys, there's number three. Three more to go, we've got 25 seconds, okay? 25 seconds, we're now 20. Good. Okay, so don't pick up the weight until the time starts, okay? That's part of the exercise, is picking up and putting down the weight. So ready in five, we're off again, four, uh, sorry, four thrusters, squat to press. Off we go. Four thrusters, full squat, good, three plank thrusters, good, one push up each side, full push up if you can, here we come, knees to chest, or a regular jump, good, there's number four, great guys, that's halfway, 30 seconds on the clock, How are we all doing? All good? Good on this, I enjoy this one. So ready, four thrusters coming up in 12 seconds. Okay. We got two more arms to go. You want to pick up this part of it, so ready, two, and off we go. Four thrusters, squat press. Plant thrusters for three. Push up each side. Knees to chest. Good. Okay. We've got one more to go. Okay, that was number five. Good job. Good guys, ready to go then in 10. Last one. Give it all, I'm as quick as you can for this last one without cutting them short. Drive these thrusters. Two. Off we go. Keep it going then, we've got 35 seconds to go. Let me know when you're done. Okay, good work. Awesome, good. Excuse me. 25 seconds. Let's tap the like button when you're done, guys. I'll let you know. Just give me a done in the comments box. Ten seconds to go. Then Holly, good job, Holly, great work. Fantastic. Two. And stop there, guys. Stop there. Great guys. So let's go for some stretches. Let me know. Let me know how you found the workout. If you want to take that finisher any longer, then take it up to 10 rounds. Take it up to 15 rounds. If you want to do the six rounds at the start for more. If you get more weight and you want to add, you know, four more reps, do 10 of each for 10 rounds. Just go for it. That's just a, a uh, format for you to play with as much as you want, okay? You can write it down and go through it and add more as time goes by. So let's take a seat there, just a few stretches. Let's sit back on the hands and give the legs a shake. Good, then sit up tall and soles of the feet together, bring the heels in close to the bum and drop the knees. Good workout everyone, I enjoyed that one. Hopefully you did too. As you may have guessed, kettlebells are my favorite tools of the trade to work with. So extend the legs forward 
Okay, bring the chest forward towards the knees and reach out. Good, okay, from there, let's go up onto one knee. So right knee on the ground, left foot forward, weight on this front leg, and let's push the hips forward now. Extend the quad on that side, and down through that hip flexor. Good, and then back we come. Let's go for the other side. Left knee down, right foot forward. Weight on this forward leg, and then push the hips forward. Good, okay, from there. Down onto both knees, let's get the hands to the ground. Up onto the toes. And then walk the hands in slowly. And then once we reach the furthest point in by the feet, let's just hold it there. We, we're feeling that stretch in the lower back also, so bring the head down low for the upper back, bring the chin into the chest. Good, then from there, let's come up to a stand. Good job, okay, hands into the lower back. Let's take the elbows back, shoulders back, push the chest forward, and stand up nice and tall. Good, everyone, this is the last one, last stretch. Good job and slowly release. Excellent work guys.